There are three modes of travel that a successful wayfinding system must accommodate. Exterior vehicular. Exterior pedestrian. And interior pedestrian. When all three of these systems work together seamlessly and flawlessly, they result in something very valuable. Peace of mind for your visitors. Let's look at each step of the development of a healthcare wayfinding system in detail with some illustrated examples. We start the process with an initial meeting, preferably on site. We recommend forming a small committee of representatives from a few functional departments to get different viewpoints about the current state and opinions for future needs. This visit should also include a site tour so we can evaluate the facility and form initial recommendations that will guide the development of the system. Site plans, graphic standards, and survey photos should be gathered at this time. This initial meeting will allow us to prepare project timelines, budgets, and determine if there are code issues and additional language needs. Staff interviews typically include members from administration, marketing, nursing, and facilities management. Here, we'll gather information such as structure names, determining visitor decision points, traffic issues, and any additional information needed. Our design team documents existing signage and site conditions, room identification, and code information. Locations and relationships between parking, entrances, elevators, stairwells, and safety equipment will be recorded. Additional photos will be taken and ADA and accessibility issues will be documented. Pedestrian and vehicle traffic flow analysis will include documentation of decision points and problem areas. This report will include an analysis of the present state condition, existing problems, and recommendations for future state solutions. These solutions will include preliminary designs of exterior and interior sign families and a rationale of why these particular designs will improve communication. The presentation will also include a detailed message schedule integrated into a site plan that clearly illustrates the text for each sign location. We will also present images of the proposed sign designs superimposed into photographs of the existing environments and plans for directing pedestrian and vehicle traffic. After the report presentation, we will execute requested design, site plan, and message schedule revisions. After final approval, we will submit a project timeline with timeframes for each stage of the project and milestones to be achieved by each party. After plans and designs are approved, the next step for your project is entrusted to our experienced and organized project management team, which is second to none in the industry. Our project management team manages every detail of the process, inside our company and outside. This includes permitting, approvals, and installation. The project proceeds to our engineering department for preparation of shop drawings, which will be the basis for fabrication. We spend extra time and resources at this stage using three-dimensional engineering software to plan and document every fabrication detail. When the engineering is complete and approved, the project proceeds to fabrication on our shop floor. Our 63,000 square foot facility is equipped for big jobs with two five-ton cranes with 20 feet under hook. We employ six certified welders and have two state-of-the-art paint booths. Our assembly department features two large format UV printers that can print durable, weather-resistant graphics in brilliant photographic detail. After the signage components are fabricated, our installation crew and fleet of six service vehicles ensures that your signage is installed safely and accurately. Our project management team coordinates this process every step of the way, including a post-installation walkthrough and punch list creation, follow-up, and ongoing sign maintenance. For more information on l &H companies and to view our project portfolio, visit us online at lhsigns.com.